crumbs. Hey guys, so this video is gonna be a bit of a review and a speed paint video. I'm gonna be doing a quick review of Mark Curley's The Realism Challenge book, and I thought I would try myself to do a realism challenge. I have done realism in the past, but it's more just sketching in graphite and making it clean and as realistic as I can, whereas this is in color, it's a step up. I don't know, we'll see how well I can do. I'm a little nervous. One more note before we delve into this, I just wanted to say thank you to the team at 10 Speed Press for sending me this book. This video is not sponsored, but they did send me this book, so thank you very much. I'm super excited that I get to hold it, especially since it's not actually out yet. I'm sure most of my subscribers already know who Mark Curley is, but if you don't, he is a published author and illustrator, and he's actually here on YouTube as well. He was one of the original artists on YouTube. I remember I subscribed to him back in 2009 or something, a long time ago. He was the very first person I ever subscribed to on YouTube. So he's kind of like the father of YouTube artists in a way. And he's the most popular YouTube artist as well, with the most subscribers. So I'll definitely leave a link to his channel in the video description. So here's the book. The Realism Challenge, Drawing and Painting Secrets from a Modern Master of Hyperrealism by Mark Crilly. And it is a soft cover book with a dust jacket. And underneath, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool because it shows a lot of the illustrations in the book and they're varying degrees of doneness. So some are the early sketch phase, some are sort of in the middle, and then some of them are more finished. So that's pretty cool. And I'll just read the inside cover of the jacket for you. Are you up to the challenge? With just watercolors, colored pencils, and white gouache, artist Mark Crilly takes you step by step through his process for producing stunning, hyper-realistic recreations of everyday items. Based on Crilly's mega popular Realism Challenge YouTube videos, the Realism Challenge contains 30 lessons demonstrating how to render mirror-like duplicates in the trompe l'oeil tradition of everything from shells, leaves, and candy bars to your very own still life arrangements. Each lesson builds off the previous one as you'll master essential artistic techniques like creating drop shadows, adding highlights, and building from light to dark. Learn the secrets of one of hyperrealism's biggest stars. Come take the Realism Challenge. Woo! Okay, let's look inside. I don't want to spoil the whole book, so I'm only going to show select things to you guys. Let's just flip to the contents page real quick. So, it's split into different sections. So there's an introduction, then there's part one, simulating shadows, part two, adding color, three is advanced surfaces, four is transparent objects, five, metallic surfaces, and six, manufactured objects, then a conclusion and an index. For those of you who have seen his Realism Challenge videos, you probably already have a bit of an idea of what this book is like because what he does is he'll set some objects in frame in view of the camera and then he will draw them as accurately as possible right next to it. And as you can see from this sample here, it's extremely close. It's so good. So that is the basis of his Realism Challenge is to take some everyday objects and try to draw it as accurately as possible. So now delving into the book a little, in the introduction he gives explanations of what tools he uses and tips on buying them, so that is pretty cool, so you know exactly what materials he's using. And the layout of the book itself is so sleek and modern, it's very very clean, and this really stuck out to me initially, I just love the layout of the book. And because it's this way, it's it's also more mature. It feels like this appeals to people of all ages. So yeah, I just really like that about the book. I'll show you a sample of what the tutorials are like. So there's a total of 30 step-by-step -step lessons in this book, and he goes into a lot of detail for each step, which I really like. So you can see there's four images, then four descriptions, and what's nice is there's also the original image up in the corner, so you can cross-reference, like, okay, that's what the picture looked like, here's what he drew, and you can just follow through step-by-step. -step. And like I said, lots of detail. He goes over each tool he uses. It's pretty cool. And then on the next spread, It'll show the final two steps with descriptions, and then there's the real piece of paper and the drawn piece of paper. It's pretty cool. It's just so fun to flip through all these, and with each lesson you get different tips about the different materials. Like when I showed you the table of contents, he covers a variety of different types of objects and different textures. 
Okay, now I don't want to show too much of the book to you because I don't want to spoil it all, but I just want to point out a few of my favorite illustrations in the book. So here's one of them. It's the seashells because I just, I really love seashells and I actually have some here that I can try to draw. So I might try that challenge. And I also really dig these strawberries because they just look, they look really good. He did so, I mean, all the drawings are really good. That's another good point about this book is he's a very talented artist. So this is no amateur realism book here. This is serious stuff. And then this one, anything, this whole section with glass is just ridiculous. And oh, I can't even imagine trying to replicate something that intricate. That's just insane. So those ones are my favorites. So that is the realism challenge. And I think I forgot to mention how long the book is. It's 152 pages, so it's a good sized book. So this book comes out quite soon actually on May 5th. So if you're watching this after May 5th, you can pick up a copy. And if you're watching before May 5th, it's actually available for pre-order right now. So I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can pre-order it. And if you do pre-order it using the link in the description, you get a signed print from Mark Curley. I don't have one here to show you, but the artwork is here in this book. It is this picture right here. You get a signed print of that. So if you want to get in on that, you have to pre-order before May 5th. So yes. That is the book. I really like it. And now I'm gonna try my hand at my own realism challenge. Woo I was gonna do something that's a little bit more complicated of a setup, but I decided to keep it simple for my first attempt and do this key. I think it's quite interesting because it has a bit of texture to it. It has areas where it's scuffed and has a different color underneath. And I thought it would be cool trying to get all the grooves and there's a bit of text there as well. So I thought this would be fun for my first realism challenge drawing. All right, so shortly after starting this, I realized a key was probably not the best idea to be my first item because metal is really, really hard, especially the highlights, because anytime you turn your head, the highlights totally change. So what I tried to do was match it to the camera angle, because that's one thing that always perplexed me about Mark Curley's videos is what the camera sees and what you see, it's a different angle. It looks different. The shadows and highlights are going to look like they're in different places slightly. And so I found myself looking up at the viewfinder of my camera to make sure things were right, but at the same time it's such a tiny screen, I can't see detail. So it was weird and like I kept having conflicting views of the highlights. It was, oh, it was really, really difficult actually. I'm amazed at Mark Curley's talent on these things. Also, my key's not quite the right size. The blade part of it is too long, but oh well. And instead of using watercolor for the base like he does, I was too lazy to dig out my watercolor, so I just used a Copic marker to do the base. And then I just used pencils and colored pencils for the rest of it. And for the white bits, I didn't have gouache, so I used my Copic Opaque White. And you'll notice there's a lot of cuts because this, this was a super long clip. This took me a long time to do. Way too long to do. It is so difficult. And, um, yeah, so I, I know there's a lot of improvement that can be done, but I'm still happy with it. So don't don't be picking out the mistakes in the comment section. Just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, anyway. But while this is going by, I thought I would draw your attention to a giveaway. Dun, dun, dun. So the people at 10 Speed Press were very kind and they said I could do a giveaway for a copy of the book. And YouTube has been really strict about their giveaway guidelines. For example, you're not allowed to ask people to comment in the comment section to enter a giveaway. So to make things simple for this giveaway, and I don't want to set up raffle copter because copter it's just a small giveaway. I'm going to direct you guys to my Facebook page and there'll be a post for the giveaway and you just need to comment to enter. And if you don't have a Facebook page, just get a friend or family member who does have one to enter for you. So there'll be one winner and I'll pick it in about a week. So head over there. There'll be a link in the video description to where you can enter the giveaway. I think the thing I struggled with the most was doing the highlights because it was so difficult. I, my paintbrush is, was pretty small, but it doesn't have a fine point, and so it was very difficult. Plus, some of the color would pool on top of the waxy coating of the pencil crayon. Sorry, I say pencil crayon instead of colored pencil. Anyway, 
And let's say I did some stuff in white, but it's too blobby, I need to refine it with my pencil, the pencil would just scrape away the white, and so it was really difficult to get the highlights. I eventually just sort of gave up, so that's what it looks like. That's my realism challenge. <laughs> Dang, that is harder than it looks. I wish I would have started with like cardboard or something, that would have been a lot simpler. Anyway, I'm still happy with how it turned out. So. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Mark Curley's channel and check out the pre-order in the video description to get yourself one of those signed prints. And I'll see you guys in my next video.